Shut up and sit down. Hello, gang. Colin here, Festa 67's workshop, and welcome to part number eight of the Valentino Rossi bike build. Now, this is the big old one fourth scale monster, and we're going to be doing a part 51, which is the details and the lambda plugs, which I've got in my hand here. Pack number 52, which is the pump bracket and your hydraulic pump. Pack 53, which is the right footrest. And pack 54, which is the protection plate for the exhaust pipe. So we got them bad boys all sorted out. So we'll be opening these up in a minute. But as usual, uh, grab yourself a cup of rosy and join me at the uh, at the bench as we sit and build this bike so i didn't expect this delivery to be honest with you because the world is still on fire as we all know so i thought why not knock out a little bit of the rossi bike so we'll start off by just putting these to one side and we'll grab pack number 51 so we'll leave that one out and put the rest to one side. So hopefully you've got your cup of tea. If you if you smoke, you've got a fag on. And you can put your feet up and sit and watch the video. All right, folks. So let's grab this one and scoot that open. So grab all of the bits and bobs out of there. Now we've got a 95mm tube, a 75mm tube, a pair of Lambda probes, a fair lead couple of caps and a plate so that's what we got for this little section so we'll just knock them out the way and bring in this <laughs> rather sexy looking engine why not indeed eh god bennett well a lovely exhaust on that i could sit there and just purr 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 purr, purr like a big motorbike Anyway, we'll slide this on this uh, pipe here and this will press into the side of the frame. So it's basically a fair lead which is the long tube onto the right side of the frame. Now if you're following this along and you've got your instructions downloaded as PDFs then you'll see where this goes. There's a couple of little holes in the frame there and it is just a press fit. Okay and it just pops in there like so and all you do is you just align the posts with the plate and it will press in place and it's the same with this one as well there's a couple of holes in the frame just by me right index finger and it's a press fit a little bit of resistance just to stop it flying out every time you look at it and that's going to be holding the lambda sensors when we get round to putting them in so they're in and then we got a couple of large caps which cover the screws that we put in in the last stage and they go in the frame and they're just popped in and pressed in place so that's them little bits done so that stage is going to be pretty much complete now the lambda sensors we'll just put to one side until we need them which will be later on in this episode when we join them up all right so we've got page stage 52 even to do now which is the pump bracket and the hydraulic pump so we've got some bits and bobs on the bench there we've got the pump bracket the lever spring cap hydraulic pump coupling and a couple of the old uh, type G screws so we're going to put the bracket and the lever together like so and there'll be a little screw that goes in the back here and that'll give a bit of the old pivotage to it so we'll fit that and it's a little cross-edge screw that goes in there so we'll do that 
and you've also got a little tiny coupling that goes in the end of the lever there and that's just the press fit as well so we'll have a little deft look at what we're getting there and put this little cap on as well press that into place like that and it will fit yeah, it's a bit of a persuasion fit there but it does go on so we can look now at joining this lever or the bracket sorry and the pump on of the bracket and then we'll shove a spring in which will connect then to the little pivot on the end of the lever which makes it all operate so yeah it's fiddly bits time and it is, it is, it is fiddly this little stage, but yeah, thoroughly enjoyable. So there's a little peg on the end of there, which is by my left index finger, and it drops into that spring, like so. And then I'll just hold it with me, uh, me thumb, and that in a minute, and then we'll put the the screw in and hold that all together. Now you don't want to over tighten this screw the temptation at first is to really you know bite it in place but you don't want to do that you want to nip it up and then take it back quarter of a turn so that it just pivots not too loose not too tight you'll know when you're moving it with your, your thumb there i mean i tend to overdo it first just to stretch the threads out a little bit and then I back it off so it just gives me the the spring effect that I'm after because we're all gonna do it when it's on display we're all gonna think we're Valentino <laughs> Ross you know, we're gonna sit there fiddling around a bit making brum brum noises and then we'll go oh, no, I broke it now so don't overdo it folks but I'm gonna sit and play with this now because I can it's like eh, 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 eh. <laughs> yeah, I might have done that a bit too tight actually, so I'll just back that off and do a little fine adjustment because I want it to spring back on its own. That's what I'm aiming for. So I'm going to back that right off and have a little looky loo just to see what it's fouling on there because I've got a feeling I might just need to enlarge the hole that it sits in because it's a bit of a resistance as you can see. So I might get the old drill in there and uh, enlarge that just a tad. Because, yeah, I've got a feeling that we might, might, I just want to play with that. Because I know what I want it to feel like having ridden a bike. It's like, yeah, so I'm just going to put the old file in there. And it's a round file and I'm just going to gently knock off some of the mould edges on the side of that and then when I put the lever in I should get that spring back effect that I'm after alright you might not have to do this on yours but I'm doing it on mine because I want to be able to walk up it and just give it a flick and it automatically just pop straight, pop straight back so we'll do that and we'll get that uh, working I'm ready then to start thinking about footing it fitting fitting it even on the bike so we'll put it all back together now and have another little play and see what we get but already that's feeling just that little little less frictiony under under me finger there so I reckon I can get that working a bit better now so quickly just nip this bad boy up and we'll see what we think there you go oh yeah oh yeah I'm having that look at that yeah see best as happy now yeah it's the little things like this to do at this stage though because like I say if it don't feel right to you don't be shy in getting the files out I know it's an expensive uh, offering this kit but 
you know, it's, it's still mass produced and there are going to be a few fit issues and friction issues and that. So don't be too shy in just making some minor adjustments. But that now to me works as well as it's going to. So yeah, look at that. Happy. Get in. Done. So we're coming on to stage 53 now, which is going to be an upper plate a foot plate, right foot peg, brake lever control and three type K screws. Yeah, three of them. But you always end up with a spare. So you're going to end up at the end of this, as I've said before, big old bag of goodies. Yeah. So we're going to take the rear brake assembly from uh, stage 52 that now works really well. And you want to locate a couple of holes in the foot plate and the corresponding pins on the brake assembly and it'll all just pop together like so and then if you've got your instructions there you'll see now that you uh, I've got a couple of bits on the um, upper plate there and you want to drop the pins into the corresponding holes and it's just the press fit like so so happy days and then we'll grab the foot peg in a sec and that will fit into the lever assembly it's pretty much press fit section this one and then obviously you want to fit the uh, brake lever control into the bottom of the brake lever in a second as well. But we'll we'll put this plate on. And it is literally a couple of pins, like so. And it is just like that, a press fit. And this is all made in that. Um, fake carbon fibre material and I haven't done that bad a job with it you know it's a bit a bit moody in a couple of spots but then what's it like in real life you know what I mean it has its different um, appearances each panel so yeah you know I was fortunate enough to go around the McLaren place at Woking and uh, they had some samples of the old carbon fibre bits and bobs and it is amazing to see it done but uh, yeah we'll put the uh, right foot peg and shove that in now it's a little semi-circle shape on the end of this so I'm just gonna have a little looky loo to make sure I can see it properly so sorry for going off shot but it's a little semi-circle that will fit in the locating pin or hole in the lever so you might just need to to put your optivisor on that's what I'm doing because I'm as blind as a bat so yeah so the foot pegs on and we also want to do the brake lever control as well and that's quite a friction fit in the end of that lever so you might might just want to support it underneath your thumb when you put it in place and then obviously we can check to make sure that it all works and goes in where it should. Now this whole assembly gets screwed onto the two holes on the frame just round by where the clutch basket is. So you, you can't miss it, it's the only two uh, recesses that are there. So we'll clear up the bits and bobs we don't want and then we'll move the uh, engine section in so that we can mount all of this but it's a couple of allen bolts that will go in there so we'll we'll start ferreting with this so if I shove one in like so and then we'll grab this and we'll just roughly work out where it's gonna go and then I'll do my uh, plan of attack so that's what we want to do so line it up like so you might just have to give it a bit of a a bit of a persuasionary nudge but it will go 
and then obviously just drop in the first allen bolt and I normally do them a couple of turns just to get it to bite so that I can then get the second one in and then we can do all the lining up and everything that we need to do to get it to fit but this is that sort of itty bitty stage but we'll uh, get them screws in like so we might have to get the bigger key out in a minute because that allen key isn't great so we'll have a look see how we do but we'll just get them to bite and uh, probably end up getting the heavy furniture out just to give them a full bite I keep meaning to get me um, tap and die set out so that I can run a tap round all the uh, threaded sections because they got paint in them from when the frame was sprayed and they do make it a little bit awkward to get the nuts and bolts in but I do worry that with such a small tap and me being such a clumsy great oaf with hands like a bunch of bananas who do you reckon is going to break a tap off in the frame of his Rossi bike? Answers on a postcard to Helgen35 at Geocities. Yeah, you got it. So I'm just going to welly this a bit. And then I'll probably get me big Allen bolt, or Allen key even, on it just to give it that final bit of nippage because it's flapping around like a big ear in the wind at the moment. And we don't want that, do we? So we'll grab a bigger Allen, Allen key, I think. I've got a nice big set of them just here, so I'll grab that and we'll have a little looky loo and put a bit more leverage on there. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, so in there like swimwear now, isn't it? Hey, God, Bennett, get a proper tolls fest at your book. Yeah. So we'll put that last one in and we'll check to make sure that we've got no wobbling. Because we don't want wobbling, do we? Because, yeah, you know how it is. Like that. Yeah. Obviously, I don't want to go too mad and snap the head off. Because, yeah, then I'll be crying and flailing around on the floor like a five-year-old girl. Which we don't want. But we just want to nip that up. And you'll find the same when you do yours, folks, you know, unless you unless you get run a tap through there to clean the paint out. You are going to have to get a bit aggressive with her in a few spots, but hey, no pain, no gain in it. So we'll just pack these bits and bobs away, because that stage is now finitoed. And we'll be moving on to good old stage of 54 in a sec, but... That ain't looking too shabby, is it, eh? Let's have a little looky-loo. Look at that. Eh? You do, don't you? You want to reach over to your TV and just go, Oh, look at that bike. I want to touch that bike. Uh, yeah. I know. I don't get out much. <laughs> yeah. Moving on. To stage number 54, which is the protection plate. And you've got the protection plate, foot, pl uh, foot peg bracket, your left foot peg, and a couple of Type D screws. Now, put your foot peg in onto the bracket, but the actual foot peg itself, or the bracket, doesn't get fitted in this stage. So you'll want to put that to one side and keep it with your, your gearbox sprocket and things like that from earlier episodes, because it's not fitted just yet. But remember them lambda sensors we done earlier, we're on them bad boys now. So you want to grab one of the flexible pipes off the lambda sensor off the exhaust and fit it on the probe on the end of it. And we're going to be doing one on the inner right manifold. Okay. So you want to fix, fit that with a 75mm tube. And you're going to be sending that on that bracket that we mounted on the side, pressing it in place onto the plate to hold it in place. 
and then you'll tuck the tube up through the frame for now see so that's what we're going to be doing on that and again you'll see on your instructions where it goes so that's kind of what you want to do is have your, your PDF file open and you'll see exactly what it means and that's the beauty of these PDFs that you can download for this bike is they really are clear concise instructions and yeah just look at the photograph and you'll see exactly what you've got to do so yeah I'm just a bit clumsy with my hands so I'm just gonna knock the plate off a little bit just so that I can uh, put my sensors on and give them a press I'm just worried that with my Ophi hands that I might actually snap the bracket off the frame so I just want to make sure that that's in place and then I'll just rest it back in the frame works better for me like I say what works for you for me might not work for you guys but have a go see what you think and if you're the same as me and you're a bit heavy handed you might just want to remember and just pop it off the frame do it that way and then it'll just press in place and then you can feed the tubes up through the frame and uh, fit them at a later stage like so right. just tuck them out of the way just like that and I must admit it is gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna be quite interesting when it comes to connecting these all up actually and uh, I'm lucky enough I've downloaded the PDS for the entire build so I've had a little scoop through just to see what's gonna be happening in the build and uh, yeah it's quite interesting actually to see how in the later stages the bike starts to suddenly take shape and uh, yeah well that's the two lambda probes in so we're happy with that and uh, yeah it's looking really really quite presentable and then we got a little carbon fiber plate that just goes around where all the foot controls are where the rider's foot would be and it's a nice little bit of carbon fibre that one gives a nice little carbon fibre look to things but also it just gives a little bit of protection to the rider because it stops him burning his foot on the exhaust there so it, it can only go one way so hold it with one end and then what you want to do is you just want to grab one of the type D screws that you had earlier on and start that off and it's a little tiny screw so put your pinky on the air over the screw there grab your screwdriver and you only want to give it a couple of turns just to get it started and then once she starts biting grab the second one and then you can put that in like so so I just want to get a little bit of purchase on that like that yeah you will go yeah behave <laughs> yeah but it is that inane fear as well because I don't want to over tighten something and snap a screw off I've done really well so far but yeah if anyone's going to do it still a little wobbly there so I'll just nip that up and it's because of the paint in the uh, in the holes in the frame there you, you do have to to get quite aggressive in a few spots with her but all in all once she does go together she goes together well and I must admit, I do think she's she's looking rather fruity, if I'm honest. You know, I'd take her out on a date, wouldn't you? And there's all the blokes now nodding at their screens and their wives going, What oh, are you like? Listening to this slightly mad nutter. But you do, you fall in love with your motorbikes. And it's the same when you build a big kit of them. You know, there's a few folks who have done the big Africa twin. And it, you do, you, you know, it's, yeah. It's a big bike, isn't it? What more can I say? 
but she is she's looking really nice and that's this stage pretty much done and dusted now so we're gonna start wrapping this episode up coming to the end of it um, I'll move me foot peg and that and put that in me bag of goodies but what I will say is yet again many many thanks for watching me videos and joining us for this little episode of shenanigans with Festa um, don't know when the next delivery is going to come for the bike I'll keep an eye out and with the world on fire it is a bit yeah, touch and go but they've started to email me now to let me know that a bit has been shipped so that's a good thing but in the meantime have a look on the YouTube channel at the rest of the videos if you're in isolation there's plenty there to be getting on with uh, tune in for the Sunday brunch 12.30 to 2.30 every week or 12 o'clock now sorry till 2.30 every week uh, join the Facebook group and the Facebook page Festa 67's workshop likewise on both you'll hunt them down on Facebook you'll come across them and until then all I'd like to say is stay home stay safe keep well wash your hands and we'll catch up with each other pretty much soon and I'm just going to park that there and leave that sat there so that you can all sit and stare at it and look at it and yeah look at me rum 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 rum, rum. yeah I know yeah don't be like Festa <laughs> catch you later folks thanks for watching bye bye